Hey, what's up, Packers? It's Chef T uh, coming at you with a hospitality hack. Um, this is specifically for restaurateurs and uh, restaurant managers. Um, it's about <clears throat> solving guest problems. All right. It's, it's not the most fun part of our job, but it is something we have to do. And um, there is a way you can attack it successfully every time. Uh, I just left one of my favorite spots, actually Midwood Smokehouse and I uh, had an okay experience. The food was good. Uh, it usually is. I have a consistent experience, but I had a little bit of an issue. Uh, the manager came by and interacted with me, but didn't solve my problem successfully, um, which prompted this video. just want to talk about how can you do that? How can your guests walk away and feel like all questions are answered and all problems were solved? So, um, like, I literally just left. Like, I didn't even stop at the fridge and put my leftovers in the fridge. Like, they're right here. Um wanted to get this out while it was still fresh on my head so i have a nice little acronym for you okay it's called last and uh this acronym stands for listen apologize satisfy and thank okay so you know, your server comes to you, bartender, whoever comes to you and says, hey, table 107 uh, has an issue they're asking for a manager. Now, you go to the table. Uh, first thing you do, hey, you know, you introduce yourself. Hey, my name's Tasha. Uh, you know, I heard you have an issue. You can tell me what's going on, right? You listen. Be quiet. Let the guests talk. Uh, let them get out whatever they're feeling, uh, whatever the issue is, whether it's service, food quality, timing, um, it's too cold, the music's too loud, <laughs> they don't like the prices. I mean, the type of complaints you get will vary uh, and they come up with a lot of them. All right. But you definitely want to listen and let them get it out, whatever it is. Um, to be honest with you, 90% of the time, just getting it out and having someone just make eye contact and listen to what they're saying and be intent on, on, on what the complaint is will solve the issue. Sometimes you have to take it a step further. Okay. Next thing is apologize. Uh, we've all heard the saying that the guest is always right. Customer is always right, even if they're wrong. Right. And there's an element of truth to that. Um, you know, the prices are the prices. Like when you came in, you selected our restaurant to dine in, you sat down, you looked at the menu, you saw the price. <laughs> like that's what it is. Um, so then don't, don't then turn around, get your food and then complain about, oh, oh, well, this isn't worth the price. So it's not, you know, come on, you know, it is what it is. But however, um, we apologize. You know, if someone brings up an issue, you take the time, you listen, um, you express an apology for whatever the complaint is that they're feeling at that moment. All right. Next thing, satisfy. This is kind of like where it can go left. Like it, it can get tricky because everyone wants something different potentially to feel satisfied. So this was when I just came from Midwood. Uh, I went in, I was dining alone, sat at the bar um, because I didn't want to take up a booth or a table. Um, I mean, I could have, but I didn't want to take up someone's booth or table when I'm dining alone. So, uh, bartender came up hey you want something to drink sure all right ask for water like i'll get something else in a second let me kind of just see what's going on um as far as the service piece she didn't introduce herself i still have no idea what her name is i got the check i thought oh okay maybe her name will be on the check like towards the end it wasn't <laughs> so i have no clue um didn't introduce herself you know was was courteous um but wasn't engaging at all um no small talk what brings you in? Have you been here before? Like, no service steps whatsoever. Um, can I get you something to drink? What would you like to order? Brought me my food. Got the food. Um, you know, I'm piddle paddling on my phone. Kind of just hanging out. Off work today. Didn't really have much to do. Um, so I just hanging out. I wasn't in a particular rush. I was hungry, though. Food came out a decent amount of time. Um, you know, she did check back with me. Hey, do you have everything you need? Like, kind of was as soon as the food came out. So I didn't really know. Like, I didn't hadn't taken any bites of the food yet. Wasn't really sure if I needed anything. Everything looked good. It felt hot. Looked hot. So, you know, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm fine. Um, she came back around and was making a drink for somebody else. And I was just like, oh, hey, question. Um, I got uh, smoked wings, 
crispy smoked wings and the pimento cheese fries um which the fries are always really good i think i've had the wings maybe one other time before um and i <clears throat> i like drums so i know some people are really in love with drums some people like flats i've never met anybody who didn't have a preference like oh it's whatever i'll just eat whatever kind of wing like it's always like oh i i i lean one way or the other right so i lean towards the drums really like drums i will eat flats um but i prefer drums so i had two drums and it came with 10 wings so i had two drums and eight flats so i'm like um, is it normally like and just a random question? She didn't come back to check on me at, after the food was initially dropped at all, but she just happened to be in front of me making a drink for somebody else. So I'm like, hey, uh, do the wings typically come like 50 50, half flat, half have drums, or does it kind of just depend on what, what you guys have? And oh, she's just like, oh, it just depends. I'm like, oh, okay. So I, you know, I didn't make a big deal out of it, kept eating my food. Uh, and then probably maybe five minutes later, the manager passed by. Now, how I know she went and said something to the manager is because I didn't, number one, didn't ask for a manager. Number two, he didn't talk to anybody else at the bar. So he came behind the bar and was walking by as if he was passing by, but only stopped to talk to me. So I know she said something to the manager, which, you know, I, that's probably a good thing. Hey, someone is expressing some type of displeasure potentially you know i didn't make a big stink about it but i did have a specific question um hey how's everything tonight says the manager <laughs> and uh in my narrator voice and i'm like oh you know food's tasting really good uh i was a little disappointed at the number of drums on the plate i said i i really like drums and there it only came with two and so he's like well um do you want me to bring you some more drums out i'm like ah, you know at this point i'd eaten maybe a quarter of the fries which is really an appetizer that's meant to serve maybe two or more people potentially i had ate the two drums uh and, and i was like ah, you know by the time they come out i'll probably be full it's fine i'm okay he nodded and walked away now my issue is that was i satisfied with that response like you offered me wings more wings I said, no, that's okay. You nodded and walked away. You listened to what I had to say. There was no apology or explanation whatsoever. Like, hey, you know, hey, we normally do try to do 50-50 or maybe they don't. Maybe maybe, it, maybe they don't have a policy or, or procedure that says, hey, give 50 flats, 50, 50 drums. So maybe they don't, but explain that. It's like, hey, it's kind of whatever we have in house you know, or whatever, whatever's kind of left in the, in the wing bin there is what you get. It's a crap shoot. It's, it's Russian roulette, you know, but you can always next time maybe ask for drums or, or some type of like meet me halfway, right? There was none of that. What is, was I satisfied? Not particularly. I mean, you didn't, I didn't have a, a that's where it becomes tricky, right? I didn't have a real complaint necessarily. My, what I said verbatim was, Hey, I, I was a little disappointed. Now, the acronym last, okay, so let's talk about the last thing first and then I'll, the last letter and then I'll circle back to that, right? So the last thing is thank. You want to thank your guests for their feedback, for their communication, uh, no matter what it is. It, it could be severely negative and you could potentially never be able to turn it around to a positive. Still thank them. Why? The only way we can get better is if our guests give us feedback. Hey, if the food's cold and you let us know, thank you. Thank you for telling me that. I'll go communicate that to my chef so that next time you come in, we'll make sure it's nice and piping hot. No other uh, guest will have to experience what you've experienced. You know, I, I really appreciate that. So anyway, so let's pop back. So listen, apologize, satisfy. Again, that's the tricky one. This is kind of the make or break piece because... Uh, the last acronym is is for uh, making a lasting impression for the manager or the restaurateur being the last line of defense, right? Before that guest leaves the building. Because if I'm unsatisfied, I come to spend my money and I leave unsatisfied, I may not ever come back. Now, will I go back to Midwood Smokehouse? Likely, 
right? I, I've been, it, it's on my list of places to go. It's 10 minutes from my house. Surprisingly, I really like their food. And I say surprisingly, all, no dig, but just because I'm super particular um, about my barbecue, right? So the very uh, second job I ever had in life was at Casey's Barbecue. Shout out Casey's, Cousin Pat, what's up? All right, um, so... You know, I grew up on that, uh, on Casey's barbecue and my dad's barbecue. Uh, very, like, I have a very, it's one of those cuisines and one of those um, foods that I just, I don't eat everybody's barbecue, right? I'll probably try any Chinese food spot, any Italian spot, like some other cuisines. I'll give anybody a shot. Barbecue is, like, if somebody's like, hey, let's go get some barbecue, I'm, I'm asking questions. Where are we going? Have you been there before? What style of barbecue is it? What's the sauce like? You know, is it vinegar based? Is it sugar? Like, what? Like, I, I, I'm digging in, right? Like, like, I need to know all because I'm just super particular. So, when I first went to Midwood and I enjoyed the food, I, I was surprised. I was just like, oh, okay, this is, this is good, right? I like this. So, I've kept it on my rotation, right? I go there fairly often. So, I probably will go back. But if that was my first time, I wasn't wowed by the service. The food was decent, but I wasn't wowed either by <clears throat> the interaction from the manager. And it's like, you know, I left and they're like, oh yeah, have a nice, have a nice night. Thanks. See you next time. But there was no real like engagement, no real interaction. I wasn't floored. So if that was my first time ever going there, I may not ever go back. Right. Um, so the sat the satisfaction piece is super important because we make our money on repeat customers we, we make our money on regular guests that's how we make our money the people who pop in one time here or there once or twice a year that's great we'll 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 take that money you go ahead and slide your card we'll take that cash right but the repeat guests the people who come once a month once a week every quarter you know or every family occasion so birthdays anniversaries holidays when family's in town those are those that's the money making guests that that's the people that you want to make sure are satisfied repeatedly and you want to convert those first time people into the repeat customer right into the return guests into the regular but you can't do that if they're not satisfied right and so the satisfaction comes from not only solving problems but and maybe we'll talk about in another video but being proactive instead of reactive uh, being present before there's an issue so if an issue does arise you've already got that report right again that's another video but so listen apologize satisfy what could that manager have done to satisfy me right i said no 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 don't bring me any more wings now had he brought me more wings anyway, would I have eaten them? Probably not. Again, I like I legitimately was legitimately was like, hey, I'll probably be full by the time you cook them. I probably would have taken them home. You saw my box that I have sitting right here on the desk, right? I I some people don't believe in leftovers. I hate to waste food. I believe in leftovers. If I can reheat something, eat the next day for lunch or something, I will. All right. So he could have still a couple of solutions. He could have still brought some more wings. I could have taken them to go. And the end would have been, since I said, oh, no, 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 it would have been kind of a, hey, I know you said no, but listen, I feel really bad that you were disappointed. Did he admit fault? No, right? So again, maybe the policy is not a 50-50 split on the wing type. So you didn't admit fault, but you said, hey, I feel bad you were disappointed. So I went ahead and just brought you five more drums. I know that's your favorite. Take them for lunch tomorrow, okay? It's on me. I apologize that you were disappointed. I don't want you to ever leave not feeling fully satisfied. I would have been happy, right? I, I would have had that satisfaction. Another another option, he could have said, hey, look, have you been here before? Engage. Have a conversation, right? Have you been here before? My response, oh, yeah, you know, I come here fairly often. It's not far from my house, which is true, right? Not far from my house. I get on maybe... Once, once a month or so, you know, I'll swing by or I'll do DoorDash or something like that and have it delivered to the house. Okay, well, hey, look, here's a coupon for next time. 20% off your meal uh, or, hey, free appetizer on me, free dessert on me just because, you know, I feel bad you're disappointed. And thank you for sharing that feedback. Maybe that's something we should look at. Hmm? The thank right maybe that's something we should look at thank you for bringing that to my attention because if you were disappointed there's a possibility 
that another guest might feel that same disappointment but never said anything to us. So that's something we maybe should take a peek and see if that's something we should change. I appreciate that feedback. And because you offered me that feedback, I just want to treat you to something for next time. Is that okay? What would I have said? Sure, yeah, no problem. I'll take that. And then that coupon, right, or that discount for next time guarantees I'll return, right? Because the money is in the regular repeat. Yes, that's that's the money-making piece right there, I'm trying to tell you, okay? Um, uh, what's another way we could I could have been satisfied, all right? Um, even if even if he didn't give me anything for free, it's not always about <clears throat> giving away the house, right? It's not always about uh, people wanting freebies. Did I really want anything? <laughs> not really. I just was expressing that I was disappointed, right? Um, by the time I. I if I really wanted something, I would have said it as soon as they dropped the plate. Like, hey, look, this is not going to work out. <laughs> I'm going to need some more. Or I would have requested, hey, is there upcharge for upcharge for all drums? Or can I get all drums? Right? But I, I assumed, and, and maybe that's my bad. I made an assumption. I assumed it would be like a 50-50 split, right? So listen, apologize, satisfy being the key thing. Thank the guests for the feedback. Um managers we're the last line of defense the server the host you know the front of the house staff they're the first line of defense they're greeting people they're serving people they're smiling hopefully at the guests and welcoming them in um you know when the managers step in when the chefs step in when the restaurateur steps in it's really as uh icing on the cake right um it again last line of defense before that person leaves uh before they cash out and leave have you touched that table? Have you had an interaction? Have you listened to see if there are any complaints or feedback? Or even, uh, it could be all positive. But have you had the opportunity to have that conversation, right? Uh, super, super important. Just wanted to share that. That was on my mind because uh, I just had that experience. If you have any questions, hit me up. I'd be happy to answer. Uh, and let's keep hacking. <laughs>